So I can and I will focus on my desire to live the life that I've imagined. to be tomorrow when tomorrow. right right before you die what where where do you want to be where do you want to surmount to the moment before your death so that when you die you have no regrets I will what would that picture look like completing every episode on Netflix of everything every single anime every anime every TV show every movie on Netflix what about your gamer score? What's it look like? Oh no, my, my gamer score. What is what is the dream gamer about score? About one billion. Is that realistic, score. Noah? Does anybody have one billion, or are you the highest? Oh no, there are people with a billion gamer score. Higher than higher than a billion. There's someone who has so has a gamer score on every game full out, and Microsoft paid him because he has so much gamer score. And how much how much gamer score does he have that he gets paid for? How he much has does like he pay? thirteen trillion gamer score. And so that's just from like getting like little trophies in Xbox games. In every game. So do you think that guy owns a PS3 or a PS4? I don't think so, no. I really do you think he, if you sent like a hundred of them to his house, what would he do? He'd probably burn them in the pit of fiery hell. He'd probably make a YouTube video of it, and I bet that YouTube video would actually probably make him more money than the collaborative amount of all hundred PS3s. If it went viral. Probably. And Microsoft would support it because he's killing PlayStation. So yeah, it would, it would make a pretty good commercial, honestly. Microsoft, if you uh, if you need somebody to write your commercials and get you more sales, I'm totally with you know destroying PS3. So same here. Yeah, we're we're Team Xbox, so Team Xbox. Mixing it up. All right, this is not Team the, Xbox. No, this is not what the video ball is supposed to be about. It's about life, man, and we're living life right now. All right, so I'm using my dad's GoPro, <laughs> which is terrible, really terrible. I mean, it's not a terrible GoPro. It's terrible that it doesn't have a screen, <sighs> and so I can't constantly tap the back of it and, like, see what's going on. But I've kind of continued to organize all my things. Uh, yeah. I got... Less stuff than most people, I think, but more stuff than I thought I did. I guess it looks like more than it will, though. We'll all fit in the van, that's for sure. Alright. So. So, oh, okay. Whew! So much to talk about. So little desire to make a really long video. It's really hard to do to not ramble okay so my dad gave me the camera no yeah probably confused well okay behind the scenes before the video started we were hanging out in the van he was like oh man I really got to make a video I haven't made one in three days you know I'm like asking what he's gonna do today I'm really eager to you know make this last jump in my van uh, apparently the Labor Day festival was today and so he was gonna go do that, and but he just said he, you know, he, in like an hour he's gonna, you know, we're gonna do some work. I was gonna hang out with Noah, yada yada yada. And then he was like, "Well, I have an idea. We should make a video right now." And I was like, "Well, I have an idea. You should just give me your camera, and I will make a video for you." Because I have like this thing where like I'm not very good at being on his camera when he is filming it because I feel like I'm out of control. Like, I, I'm a control freak, and I don't have the aspect of control, and and he's a control freak, and so that when he's filming, he does it a very specific way, and sometimes it, like, it causes me to, like, shut down, and I get in this place, 
that it's pretty much like a downward spiral and it looks terrible on video and I don't like necessarily to put that kind of video on public domain you know it just makes me you know look like a shitty version of myself when you know if, not that like right now I'm you know the best version of myself but I feel like I am better on camera when I'm the one filming it and so he was cool enough to like just kind of know that and it'd be like cool I'm gonna start the camera and hand it to you yada 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 oh well also that's not actually what happened I just that's the edited version so more stuff happened that some drama went down a couple days ago and I guess it was yesterday he tried to two days ago he, he turned on the camera this hilarious and, and he he'll he should splice the video and um, this crazy footage so like me and my mom well my mom like was cleaning and she mixed uh, the works with um, some cleaner and caused some like toxic reaction and our whole house was like all fogged up with some chlorine smelling I don't know apparently it's deadly probably took like a couple years off my life hopefully not but we had these like washcloths over our mouths and we were like just running through the house and my mom was like dad you're you know Paul start the camera so he got the camera out and we're running around and it was having having a great time and then you know shit got out of, out of hand a little bit and he kind of uh well he he just he he said he made a comment about youtube he said some of the youtubers are so afraid whenever they see you on camera that you're gonna you know, freak out have this big meltdown and like and so like he said that and like it's not like that it's true but it's like that he said that and it was on camera and that he like like I felt like he was like calling me out and just putting this big magnifying glass over me and I'm walking in circles totally pacing and I don't know it just felt like felt really shitty like he was like attacking me or like I don't know and so I definitely overreacted and kind of freaked out and um things just got haywire and he was yelling at me and and you know he turned the camera off and then he turned it back on and we were screaming like who knows the footage he captured I don't want to watch it but I mean honestly didn't even capture the stuff he said to me after he turned the camera off which is totally unfair um, <laughs> but basically so all this shit happened and I could like break down play by play why I did the things I did and I'm sure he could break down why he said the things that he did and I know that you know anybody sees that they're gonna fuck they're going to have this like diluted perspective of me you know like I, I, I don't want people to think that I'm this psycho you know you short fused person because I'm not except around my dad for some reason if there's tension it's just bad and nobody else in the world I have that kind of like chemistry with but like you know like sometimes like he'll like we'll just I'll be in a bad mood or he'll be in a bad mood and we'll just somehow things will just ignite and there's things that he could do to avoid it and it says he instead he puts gas on the fire and my mom was there and I just I felt totally just like humiliated and like and and he was like just I don't know I didn't even want to make this video about it but so trying to tell the story straight I hope that this is making sense so scroll back forward to a few minutes before I turn the camera on my dad wanted to make a video about basically with me and him about what had happened and he said you know it's been a few days you've cooled down it's the vlog life we can talk about anything uh, you know, we can show show this video of us screaming and fighting and then be, you know, cool the next day. Um, but I was like, nah, I don't know. That would make me really uncomfortable. I, like, simulated him having the camera and him asking me these questions and me kind of going in that shutdown mode. And I was like, uh, I don't want to do that. And normally, any other time, my dad would have did the thing that, like, kind of starts all the fighting. He would have, he would be like, he would have gotten pissed and it would have made me feel bad and then like he would have like he just he'll get real sarcastic and 
passive aggressive. It's just, it's hard to deal with. And he like, he didn't do that. And he was like, and so we were, we're walking inside and I'm getting something out of the fridge and he was like, no. He's like, you're, or well, and then he proposed the idea. He basically was like, no, you're right. It's, it, it's kind of negative. Uh, you know, we should, we can edit, edit that bad stuff out. And, you know, we want to, we want to keep YouTube positive. We want to basically be a place where you guys can go and just get a dose of, you know, real life positivity and, you know, people trying to make their lives better. And, and it was like, so yeah, let's, you know, let's just not do that. And he, like, but so like he wasn't being sarcastic and normally he like, I could like just picture him be like, just all the things he, he could have just went downhill from there. He could be like, oh, you know, I want to do this and you don't want to be real and blah, 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 blah. And like, I would have gotten defensive, but instead he outsmarted me. And, but like, it was like with love and like, I could tell it was genuine and and he, you know, we basically, I was like, I want to make the video. And then I was like, and then I started to kind of have the idea that I would, you know, just like I did tell you kind of what happened, but I'm not going to show, we're not going to show you the video of us fighting. We're going to, I'm going to, he's going to cut it off right when we start fighting. And we're going to show it at a later date because I don't want to rewatch it and I don't want to show it. I don't want to put something on the internet that I haven't rewatched, but I, you know, if you listen to kind of me explain what happened. Maybe it, it's worse than I described it, or it's not as bad. I don't really know. Um, when you get heated in a moment, especially when the camera's on, like, emotions just get really high, and tension and all that stuff can be intensified. And so that's all bad. So, so the point of this video is that me and my dad have this crazy relationship, and he keeps saying that, well, I kind of wanted to just tell you guys some behind the scenes stuff that he can't really say about himself without, you know, sounding just completely egotistical, but he is making huge leaps of progress and to, you know, watch this happen, it's really awesome, you know. He does get really a little bit over ambitious about some things and uh, his intensity can be off-putting and he can be over controlling, but like he's got a really good heart and, and he's right about most things. Um, hopefully he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> you get a big head. That's all I'm afraid of. I just don't want to see my dad get a big head and spoil it for himself because he's got so much potential and I just want to see him succeed and, and he's doing it, you know, and I'm doing it along with him and it's like my dream come true. I know it's his dream come true and we weren't meant to have left for Colorado yet for, you know, a couple different reasons. He would have had to come back. His uncle's dying, about to die. He was supposed to die last night. All this shit. The van is coming along incredibly. I'll show you. I'm not going to be anal. I'll show you guys what I got just really quickly. I'm not going to explain anything. I'm just going to show you a visual of just literally a freeze frame of what it looks like right now. I don't really, there's a bunch of tools and stuff laying in there. Might be super dark, but we are about to put some panels up, some door panels, so it's about to look different and everything's about to come together. I always say that, but I always do make progress, so, um, yeah. The sound system is in and it is super bumping. Um, I have all the carpet inside the boxes. Um, plug it in. Oh, uh, yeah. I was gonna put the music on, but it doesn't really matter. It sounds really awesome. Put too much money into it, but I wired it all myself. Oh, it took it took a lot of trial and error, but did it. Totally failing at making a short video. I don't know how he's going to be able to cut this up because I'm just talking nonstop, rambling. But that's, you know, he needed a video. I'm trying to give you guys some content, trying to give you a view into my mind. I just want, I don't want to be, you know, an enemy on YouTube to, you know, I want to be understood. 
And that's hard when my dad is in control sometimes of these cameras and I come off in, you know, a way that I feel like doesn't really represent how I am. And I can be a tool on camera and sometimes, and I can be a tool in person. And I think everyone can. I'm acknowledging that and I'm like trying to get better every day. And there's this, you know, philosophy about positivity and about negativity and about, whoa, and about, I don't know, karma. I have the words, you reap what you sow, tattooed across my chest. What comes around goes around, and the more, you know, good I'm doing, the more positive vibes I'm putting out, the more stuff that is just like becoming um, secure in my life. I'm feeling like, um, I don't know, contentness. I feel secure about a future that has so many unknowns. Like, literally, like, my future is this huge question mark, but I'm not worried about it. Like, it's like, whatever, like, the, the word for lack of worrying is. Uh, faith. Yeah. I've got faith. I've got hope. And it's a good future. It's a good life. I've got super cool life. And hopefully I become a sweet video blogger and I have all these videos of me being a terrible video blogger to like look back on. <laughs> See, that's me like changing my future. I'm going to become a great video blogger. It's that simple. And yeah. So it's freaking Friday. Sweet. September 4th, 2.11 p.m. If you guys are wondering. Yeah, I think I'm out. I think that's all I need to say. Oh, almost just at 17 minutes. That's a good number. All right, peace out. Peace out, YouTube. Sweet. I don't know how to turn this shit off. Maybe, maybe I won't turn it off. Alright, bro. You got 17 minutes with the video. What you want to do with it? What? What's that look for? What do you mean? What do you want to do with it? Like, do I got to watch this? What'd you say? Did you go crazy? Are you being... No, I think it's a good video. I think you'll like it. So, am I supposed to just upload it? Am I supposed to make some of my own video today? You have to watch it. Like, without... Because... No, but no, hold on. No, without no. telling me anything, though. What if I just said, okay, I have no idea what Chase just said or did. This is a video blog I wanted to make today. Who knows if they'll have anything to do with each other. And, or should I just post it like it is? What should I do? Well, I, I don't know. I, you I know. formulated it to be a long video. You went three days without posting one. I, I made it so you splice in the video of me and mom with the gas mask, but you cut it where we start fighting. I told him about the whole situation. I, I said we're going to show it to him like later on, but like we're keeping it positive. We're, we're keeping it real. And I, I told him, I just kind of recapped what happened. I just talked about some stuff. Talked about that I showed him the van. Just a little update. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep everything short, not to ramble. Mm -hmm. um, it is technically so, but I try to trick you. Huh? Yeah. No. Why are you even holding it like that if you didn't know it was recording? I had no idea. I, what? I had no... Then why are you holding it like that? Why didn't... I'm like, he knows. Dang. No, I had no... <laughs> It is still recording. Yeah, well, I see, I was going to say to you, I thought you were going to walk in here at one time. That's why I hadn't moved well, it. See, I was like that. I was about to You turn walked it in off. and you walked in and it was like this on the You handed it That's to me just to pull. I tried to and you know what? I, I grabbed it. I'm, like, I'm going to pretend it's all I grabbed it. cam shit. I grabbed it and then it just kind of dropped naturally in my hand because of the way you was pointing out. It's show, man. It's, it's got to be impromptu. That's what they And I was thinking, I thought you said you were going to talk and then bring me the camera. Because, like, I still hey, want to talk want, about things. When people want clean, edited version, like, people say you should edit your videos and do all this stuff. Like, I, I'm going to do that on my channel. So, like, I'm sorry I ramble and do, like, do a junkier channel up. But I, I don't think it was that, that terrible. That's right. You said the video was good and you knew it was recording and you were... Oh, it was pretty good how it just worked out. You're playing all right. kinds of little mind games, all wondering right. if you could set me off, wondering if I'd say something. I wasn't trying to set you off at all. Uh, I was, just, no, I was literally uh, just... Uh, no, see? Uh,
<laughs> what are you doing? I was talking about all hey, the positive. I'm lines. reading. Listen, I'm I was okay. Good, about good. The law of attraction. Oh my I was goodness. talking about good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Have you heard about the round table of reason? It's this idea I have. I want to take like a handful of really kind of. Uh, I have some fans that I think have a lot of big... You can just put like a clip of you and mom in. Or me and mom and you doing that, that whole thing like two, two minutes or so. And then you can finish this video. Probably What's this right. got to do with the round table of reason? I was telling you a story. Well, I was just thinking about your video. Like it, like the progression of it. Like you you said you wanted to do some talking too. Like I, I don't want it to go done. too long. It won't. All right. Who's dinging me? Hold on. I want to tell you about the round table of reason. I wanted to get your take All on right. it. Okay. AT&T, free message. Oops, life happens. Remember that your bill is ready. Are we later? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't paid my bill in like a month. And a no, what happened is because is Netflix or Netflix stopped working, I got a new debit card, you know, the bank sent me, and it has it's like a new card. And, and I noticed there were different numbers. I'm like, why did they do that? Now everything that's connected to my debit card is going to start. I don't know if that's... Anyway, okay. Definitely what happened. 100%. So... What did I want? Oh, so I have people that follow my videos, right? And I've had this idea for a really long time, but it takes just a little bit of energy to do it. And I never really had, and I'm just ready to act on a feeling that I have, okay? So I just want to make one video. I'm not going to say we're going to do it regularly. It may be horrible, but this was my idea. And I almost sent somebody a message on Facebook today about it. But I was thinking, should I invite people or should I see who's interested? So I, I guess what I'm going to do is see who's interested and then I'll... Okay, so the concept is the round table of reason. Now I take a handful of topics that are kind of current events and I put together a round table through like a Google Hangout, you know, screen kind of thing where I can... Um, basically, it would just be a video of me and a group of, you know, small group of people talking... YouTubers. Yes, but not just YouTubers. That pe my channel that's in our, that's in the circle of our world. So people that comment regularly, that feel like really opinionated, and that want to, you know, have fun, uh, and and a, and a right mix of personalities. The cult of we Ians. No, that's not the cult of we thing. But but I'm just saying. And then everybody, and then me do a little hangout and say, okay, what do you guys think about Donald Trump? What do you guys think about, you know, politics or a few or world things or whatever, and me kind of moderate it, kind of like a Howard Stern has his, like, the that crew of people that all kind of play a role in his in his show. I've got fans out there like that. And i got crazy fans. I've got some really smart people. I've got people that are it just funny. It like its own channel. No, I would just want to do, like, it's a good a, idea, just a round table of reason, and we solve all the problems in the whole fucking world. Just a handful of people Very with common sense, probably about. some video bloggers or people, even if you've never video blogged, you'd be willing to get on Skype. Maybe I'll do like a Skype interview with a handful of people, see if there's a good chemistry, put everybody in a room and do one video and just see how it feels. The round table of reason where we get together once a month to solve all the problems of the world. How long is the video? Like a, like a 45 minute how video. Like four hours. Yeah. Like we just hang out and we talk about everything and we have opinions and everybody's cares everybody's funny and you know interesting and weird and, and opinionated and they're all and part of the, really the cool they're all places in the world so you can like go out and show where you're at like yeah we'd set it up a little outside. bit okay i'd say friday we're doing it here's the top topics we're going to talk about i'm going to be the moderator which means i'm going to talk over top of everybody mm -hmm. all right. no but anyway, that's the round table reason I was thinking about that. So I wrote it down. I wanted to talk about it. I didn't know it was going to be in a video. But what are you dancing? Oh, hey, another thing I've been doing. It's called What Are You What Are You Dancing To Today? Huh? You could be an auctioneer. Because I can talk fast sometimes. Like, you should fast forward that one little part and like replay it. Like, you know what people were telling me? And this is what I need to do because we're kicking all this way up. Okay. I need to get with Instagram. And shoot 15 second videos of my videos of the funniest little parts and just post them on Instagram. So like if there's a funny section, like at the end of one of my videos, someone's like, oh, this is a, that's a funny little thing or something happens to promote the video. I just, just why Instagram. Don't you, why don't you use Vine? 
or Vine it. Because it's six seconds, you know. Maybe, but maybe I, maybe I could. But anyway, I want to start doing that more. So you need to be following me on Instagram. There might be a link in the description, but it's Paul Robinette. There's definitely a link to Facebook. Oh, speaking of Facebook and the board, I wanted to do this. What are you dancing to? So I've been wanting to make these videos. I dance by... Music sometimes comes on and I stand up and I just start dancing in my office. I swear to God I do. I'm not kidding. And I feel like an idiot, but then I'm like, man... If I did this, and like, what if I just said, what if I did like a video every morning when I got up and I'm like, what are you dancing to? And, you know, it's like, get your day going, get your groove going. Of course, I'm not ever going to do anything every day, but I've done it a few times and I post them, of course, through Instagram and then share it to Facebook and Twitter. So I just posted one just a few minutes ago, maybe an hour ago, uh, and I think it's pretty funny. Chase filmed it. I was in the back of the van and we were listening to music and it was so good. And I was like, if I'm getting ready to dance... And so I titled it, uh, see look, I told Chase, I said, don't turn the camera on yet until I'm dancing and he's recording the whole time. But I titled it, Never Be Afraid to Dance in Front of Your Kids. But so I, so I feel like this is part of like, <laughs> man, that's so bad, but it's okay. It doesn't need to be good. So the point is, is I do this stuff. I have no idea what the point is. What's the point? What am I making a point about? I forgot. That we're just kicking it up. That you should be following me. That I post stuff like that. What are you dancing to? Donovan, um, or Matthew Donovan. He'll, he'll have a political debate about Trump. You think so? Oh, he, he's, a, he's on the politics. Really? Maybe I could make an announcement of the upcoming video. And then people would like, you know, say, hey, I want to I want to put my two cents in and be part of that little hangout. He's coming to Ohio to support Bernie Sanders. This is somebody on YouTube. Where's he live? Australia. Whoa. All right. So then I'm showing a little clip no, of the video not. that we made the other day that went horribly wrong. You're not showing that. You're going to show the, the first half. Oh, where you and mom came and got me and said, start recording. And then I'll find a good place to stop. Yeah, my reasoning to not show it is because I'm not ready to watch it. And I said, when I'm ready to rewatch it, you can play it. And they'll have forgotten by then. So it'll be like, it'll, they'll, they'll, it'll create It's like, a little too close. It's just too close. It was two days. It's too painful. Yeah, too painful. The but wounds I haven't healed enough. Situation, I, I gave my explanation why it happened. Yeah. I said, no harm, no foul. Shit happens. We're living the vlog life. Living the fucking vlog life. It's hard doing it on camera, isn't it? It is. Sometimes. It's really just hard to make eye contact with the camera sometimes. I just like forget and then it's like easier to look at other places. You know? Are you ready to look? You know why? What's well, this mic? Do you know why? Because when you look into the camera, you're looking into the depths of your soul. Mm. And you can't bullshit. When you look straight, when you look them in the eye, you cannot that, that bullshit, bullshit them. Bullshit. How do you say you something cannot like that bullshit. You, I mean, if you could train yourself to and be a fake, but you couldn't really do it. You cannot look into the camera. I want to show you. You just something. can't do it. That how old do you think this is? You guess. Pretty old. How old? Uh, Fifty years old. Guess, Thirty. Guess, guess the date. Like it was. Nineteen sixty-four. That's a damn close. Is it really? I think it's nineteen sixty-three, Dad. Nuh uh On the fucking receipt. <laughs> Nuh uh Nineteen sixty. No way, you're. In your bathrobe. Dude, I don't got that. Seriously, kind of what was hair. the date, huh? I pull mine out sometimes. I bet you got long nipple hairs. Nope. You pull no, them. yeah, I pull mine long nipple hairs. Think about that bit. Dude, they get so long. You get them too? And you pull them? You are, you don't want a random it's nipple like, hair it's like, like this. It's like my own little form of self. self and it's like a real like self thick, pain. It's self like pain. A real it's like, self. It's like a real thick. But it's dark like a necessary hair. pain. You got like, look, like I got one right here. Oh wait 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 wait! Oh, you do here. Let me. Don't. I won't pull it out yet. That's you have it. to use your fingernails to oh, give it. Of you have to use your fingernails, dog. Here, let me try. Get your fingernails. I got it. Oh, look at this one. Did you look at that? Oh, you got a patch there, Chase. Chase, you got a patch in that way. Yeah, well, that's a scraggly patch that? right there. Am I the hairiest hey, kid in this video? I think there's too much hair and too much wait, nipple God, in this where's... video. It's gonna get flagged. Where... Stop! I'm afraid I got lit. Oh wait, wait. I got. <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh, you just... dude! <laughs> Come on. Okay, know. okay, okay, okay. Don't get mad though. It was an accident. No, I think we're good. It's the gay glass, anyways. It's Italian. 
It's my dad, let's see if you got any long nipple hair. Stop. Oh, okay, yeah. stop. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Noah, oh, quit. Let's pull some of dad's I don't want to be. Oh, be oh, I do not oh, want to be playing the harm. Oh, the uh, what's that? That's not a harmonica. Definitely the not. accordion with my feet. Stop, Noah. I have a camera in. Hey, can Chase. you see this? Chase, pull Chase. off his nipple hairs. Please, do, please don't do that. These nipple hairs don't separate Chase. from the rest of his hair. Chris, I got him. I got him in a block, so he can't do nothing. The nipple lock. Guys, I do. I'm not into pain, the pain thing. Stop it! Come on, quick, quick, quick! Chase, I'm going to get violent. 